woman whose impact on the life of many has left an indelible mark. Born on the 28th November 1951 in Gadikeni town, Muranga County, she was the daughter of the late Peterson Gadage Karioki and Naomi Wangeshi. Lizzie was the sixth child in a family of ten siblings, uh, surrounded by the love and support of her brothers and sisters, uh, John Gadage, the late Udias Wangari, the late Fesha Njoki, Jones Njoroge, Sylvia Wamboi, David Mugambi, Samuel Mainge, Rachel Wagipoyo, and Joseph Kirago. Her education. Lizzie's journey began at Gadikeni Primary School, where she laid the foundation for a long time of learning. Her academic prowess led her to Kahuya Girls High School and later to Nakuru High School, shaping her into a woman of knowledge and resilience. Her pursuit of higher education continued at Kenyatta College, now Kenyatta University, where she studied education, honing her skills and embracing the opportunities that would shape her future. Her family. She was the wife of the late Josephat Mburu Wanyoike, mother to Anthony Mburu, Susan Wairimu Wanyoike, Stella Wanjiro and Lawrence Joroge, Eric Karioki and Melody Wanjiro Wanyoike, mother in love to Anne Wanjiro, David Boro and Peter Getau, a doting grandmother to Ayana Wanjiro, Shina Mudoni, Ethan Boro, Jonathan Gige, Sidney Mburu, Shaza, Shaza Kerich, J. Mburu, Shemil Mudoni, Lizzy Mudoni, Karioki, Ian, Philip, uh, Philip Ndegwa, and Lizzy Mudoni Wanyeki. Uh, her career. Her career started as a teacher at the State House Girls High School, teaching business studies. She later transferred to Temple College as a teacher in secretary duties. The beginning of her first opportunity, built on her dedication and commitment, she quickly rose from the position of lecturer to deputy principal and finally co-owner of Temple College. Lizzie's entrepreneurial spirit and commitment to education led her to establish NIPS Technical College, a testament to her vision for empowering others through knowledge and skills. The institution stands as a living legacy, impacting countless lives by providing quality education and fostering a culture of excellence. In addition, Lizzie's achievements went on. The Emory Hotel stands as a symbol of her commitment to the hospitality and service industry. The establishment of this hotel was her vision that went beyond business. It was about creating spaces where people could thrive, learn, and experience the best of life. A true, a true philanthropist at heart, Lizzie Wanyoike founded the Lizzie Wanyoike Foundation, embodying her, her belief in giving back to the community. Through, his, through, this, through this foundation, she touches the lives of many, offering opportunities for growth, development, and a chance for a brighter future. Lizzie's dedication to education and nurturing young parents was evidenced by the establishment of the Lizzie Wanyoike Preparatory and Senior School, a testament to an unwavering commitment to shaping the minds of the younger generation and providing them with a strong foundation for success, both in school and at home. Promotion to glory. Three years ago, Liz faced health challenges that tested her strength and resilience. And deterred, she sought treatment in Kenya, India, and USA, displaying incredible courage throughout her journey. On January 14, 2024, Lizzie Wanyoike took her well-deserved rest, leaving behind a legacy that will continue to inspire generations to come. As we reflect on Lizzie's life, let us remember her as a woman of vision, compassion, and determination. Let us carry forward the torch she lit, the torch she lit ensuring that her legacy lives on in the hearts of those she touched. May her soul rest in eternal peace. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.
Uh, let's celebrate that uh, wonderful life of Liz. Let's celebrate to the clock. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, Tony, please come for the family tribute or speech. Uh, Tony, where are you? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Tony. Oh. Yeah. 